For a couple weeks now, the city's been plagued by strange fire breakouts, with stories all over the news. But what's missing from the news is that there are people disappearing with each new fire breakout. SFPD is keeping this info under wraps. An old buddy of mine from the force, Marv, asked me to help him out with this case. I managed to identify one of the perps causing the fires. I ended up chasing this pyromaniac through the streets. I chased the killer into a dead-end street. He had nowhere to go. Missed me by the skin of my teeth. No more pulling punches. There he goes. Which way did he go? through one of those three tunnels. Well, which one? There he is. spaces.
the burning monster fell to the ground. I had this gut feeling I just couldn't shake. This guy was a mere pawn. He was behind the fires, all right. But who was behind him? What the hell? It's not over. All will burn. What the hell was that thing? What's that? It's a cot. I should call Marv and fill him in. Adam, what's the status? I got him. Whatever that guy was, he was no ordinary human. I guessed as much. That's why we called you in on this one. Supernatural is your thing. I'll send a team to your location to set up the scene. Go home, Adam. You did good. Marv was pleased. Me? Couldn't shake off the feeling that the fat has hit the fire. There was nothing more I could do that night. <sighs> it was time to go home. Sleep would bring me little comfort. I knew the nightmare that was waiting for me all too well. Same as every night. And there she was. My sister Allie, and her disappearance, which keeps haunting me. In my dreams, I'm reaching out to her. She always slips through my fingers. Something wasn't right. Things were not where I left him last night. I had a visitor while I was asleep. A visitor who left clues. seems out of the ordinary here. I'm sure the thief tampered with this area. Well, my visitor left a package for me, hidden behind the drawer. The moment I held it in my hands, I simply knew. This will change everything. someone leave me a watch. Hmm. Time is not set. That's a strange symbol. There's some marks on the paper. I 
320 on the wrapping paper that came with the watch. <sighs> this can't be a coincidence. What in the name of... Intense. I, s I saw. I saw the past. 320. The visitor. He left something on my board. Allie, my sister. This is where I kept track of her case. All these years, and still not any closer to finding her. That's the last picture of Allie and me, before she disappeared. A photo of her apartment, the way I found it after she went missing. What's this? I know this file like the back of my hand and this wasn't here before. Someone left a message for me. Zakat. That name rings a bell. Zakat Gallery. First that pyromaniac, now this. This place was definitely worth paying a visit. But, first things first. The visitor had to have left fingerprints on the paper. Gotcha. I'll take a photo of it and send it to Marv. He can run it through the database. Hey, Marv, I got a favor to ask. I just sent you a partial fingerprint. Can you run it through your database? Sure, but it'll take some time. Any suspects we should focus on? Nah, I got no idea who I belong to, but just run it against everything you've got. Okay, I'll send it to forensics, and call you when I have something. While Marv works his magic, I'm off to investigate this gallery. No rest for the wicked. There's Allie's business card. I remember how proud she was when her company made her those. My old cell phone, still in working condition. This thing is indestructible. A metronome, a musician's best friend. Helps me stay on beat. Allie made this straw man statuette when we were kids. I still keep it with me. This photo of Allie is a few years old. She disappeared shortly after this was taken. This veil is a memento from my first case as a detective of the supernatural. Haunted house stuff. <laughs> Never gets old. Gold Medal of Valor. It was the high point in my police career. 
This looking glass was a present from Marv when I was made detective. I gave up smoking years ago, but I still keep this lighter. You never know when you're gonna need one. Wow, it's been ages since I played any games. This one was a blast. I'm holding on to this CD. Well, my comic book collection used to be huge, but most of it was sold to pay the bills. Hey, my old police badge. This actually might still open some doors. The gallery gave off a strange vibe. I knew the security room would be the perfect place to look for clues, given all those cameras. Greetings. I am Saeed Al-Qadir. Welcome to my exhibition. Nice to meet you. Name's Adam Wolf. I've heard of you, Mr. Wolf. You dabble in supernatural things. What brings you here? I'm investigating the recent conflagrations that plague San Francisco. We've had several fires here, but uh, many in San Francisco can say the same. I don't see how I can help you. Do you mind if I had a look around? Not at all, Mr. Wolf, but uh, keep away from the restricted areas. Now, if you'll excuse me, this is a social event after all, and one must mingle. Touch me again, and you lose the hand. Sorry. I just need to take a look at the information display. This was sure to give me a view of the entire gallery, but the guard would have surely found me and kicked me out. I needed to find a way to stay the night.
some sort of connection here. The fires. They all happen at midnight. I need to spend the night at the gallery. It's a matter of life and death. Sir, I don't know who you are, so please, move along. I'm the detective investigating the recent conflagrations. This place seems to be connected to them somehow. Don't know about any connections, but we did have a couple of fires here. But if I'm to let you spend the night, I'll need to see a badge first. Okay. Take the keys to my office desk. There's a spare uniform there. Put on a cap or something. Stay inside the guard room until I lock the place up. Have to do is wait for midnight. There's a fire in the gallery. I have to get out. I have to put out that fire as soon as possible. Going back now. I'll have to jump. Here goes nothing! The landing was harder than expected. I could barely breathe. But I managed to get myself out of the dumpster. Out of the shadows, Said approached. His words rang in my head. Mr. Wolf, you have no idea what you got yourself into. I hope you will survive the experience. After that, I just let go, and the world was swallowed by darkness. I awoke in a strange room. 
Saeed was there, together with three associates. That demon almost got me, but I had the feeling I wasn't out of the fire just yet. He's seen too much. He should be eliminated. Do you know who this is? He is Adam Wolf, the detective of the supernatural. He can help us with our problem. I don't like it. You hardly like anybody, Fang. Mr. Wolf, please, excuse our lack of courtesy. We could use your help. Why don't we just start from the beginning, Mr. My name is Antoine de la Croix. These are my associates. We are in grave danger, Mr. Wolf. But as you said, let's start at the beginning. Our story dates quite a while back, Mr. Wolf. My friends and I first met a long time ago. We were five warriors, five adventurers, seeking eternal life. Our paths led us to each other, and we all found ourselves at the resting place of Kanjar, the Dagger of Eternal Life. The Dagger would bestow its owner the gift of eternal life. We decided to form a union, a pact of blood, and become its owners. All of us. All was well until one of us, Joseph Whitman, died. It broke the pact we made and the consequences were dire. A demonic entity was released from the dagger, determined to castigate this breaking of the pact. Since one of us died, we now all have to die. And Mr. Wolf, we don't want to. I can understand the sentiment. Quite. Whitman was a scholar and spent days on end researching our pact and the dagger. His interest seemed obsessive at times. His home might contain some clues as to how the demon can be dealt with. You can find Whitman's address in the lobby. I didn't care much for Whitman or his evergreen buddies. But if that demon wasn't stopped, the entire city would burn to the ground. I took the case. the dagger and hear our story. The dagger can prolong life, but it is guarded by Arahad, a fiery ghost. In order to possess and keep that power, a pact had to be made with Arahad.
Every two years, the dagger would switch custody between our five families in a strict order. The first to hold the dagger shall be the al Qadir family. Al-Qadirs are descendants of an ancient Arabic bloodline, wealthy beyond imagination. Next in line to guard the dagger will be the Krums. The Krums are known as cunning bankers who amassed their fortune in 18th century Europe. The dagger then moves into the hands of a Feng. Things whose ancestors advised the Chinese emperors themselves. Ever moving, the dagger will find custody with the Delacroix family. The incredible wealth of the Delacroix family grew from their cotton plantations to the south. The dagger's journey ends in the hands of the Whitman family. Whitman's, a line of scholars and professors forever craving knowledge. And none of the families shall hurt the other, lest they all burn for breaking the pact. As long as this pact is upheld, the cycle shall repeat forever and again, granting life eternal. Seems I walked into a crime scene. Whitman was murdered. The police gave this place a thorough sweep. I should get in touch with Marv. Adam, is this about the fingerprint you sent me? The forensics are still working on it. Good to know. But I need something else. I made some progress with the case having to do with the fires. Yes? A guy called Joseph Whitman was murdered. He's somehow involved. 2331 Lincoln Street. I need to know the time of the murder and any information about the case you can give me. Let me check. Ah, uh, yes. Whitman. Homicide. 9.30 p.m. It was done by a pro. No fingerprints. Untraceable bullet casing. Be careful, Adam. I had to get to the bottom of this. Whitman was key to stopping that flame monstrosity. He must have left some clues on how to take it down. All the collectors and their holy grail. Dagger, that is.
What's this? There's secrecy and there's paranoia. I say Whitman had a severe case of the latter. Killed while he was looking at something near that tapestry. Dagger grants is unnatural. It perverted us. The others are content with that, but I've had enough. I decided to destroy the dagger, but I have to be cautious. The others mustn't find out about my plans. I learned that our pact was protected by Ifrit, a fire demon living in the dagger. If the pact is broken, it will be unleashed. I've scattered my records in case something happens to me. One of them is in Saeed's vault at our council villa, inside a statue that I gave to him as a present. 
Saeed never knew I found the passcode for his vault. It was carved at the back of his head to bust. He always was a practical man, if not that bright. So, Whitman wanted to destroy the dagger, and he knew how to do it. I saw the symbol back at the lobby of the house they dragged me into. The dagger is here. Better watch my step. Whew. For a moment there, I thought the fire demon would bust out again. Like that thing nap time's over. This is sand from Ir Fatim, one of the last sand elementals.
It says sand from Ir Fatim, one of the last sand elementals. weakness is sand. A sand elemental is able to counter the fire demon. In my work desk, I hid the crucial piece of information on how to find and tame a sand elemental. It's impossible to open it without a two-part key. The first one is hidden in the council sigil, and the second one I will be taking to my grave. My mortal remains will rest in a chapel at the San Francisco National Cemetery, Lot 127. I... Good reason why we shouldn't get rid of you right now. Ex cops can disappear just as easily as the next guy, and Fang was right. We should get rid of him. Go on. I'd love to see how you deal with the fire demon yourselves. At least I know how he can be defeated. Do you now? Well, I'm all ears. This is what we'll use against him. That's his weakness. San, enough of this. He's taking us for fools. Then stop acting like fools, Mr. Wolf. Are you saying that you can defeat the damned thing? I have the means to. What I need is just a bit more time, and the Fire Demon will be history. In that case, I believe Mr. Crumb and Miss Fang can forgive the intrusion of our privacy this one time. Go on then, Mr. Wolf. Destroy that demon. And don't return here until you've taken care of it.
It was time to see what secrets I'd uncover inside Whitman's grave. Before I had a chance to take a good look, I felt something hit the back of my head. Everything turned black, and just like that, a horrible night took a turn for the worse. That was close. I don't know who's after me, but maybe I'm lucky and he left some clues behind. I know this print. It's the same as the one on Saeed's headscarf. That bastard tried to kill me. I need to call Marv now. Adam, that fingerprint is still not analyzed. You gotta stop call- Marv, I think my employer just tried to kill me. And he also might be the one who killed Whitman. His name is Saeed El Qadir. He's the owner of the Sakat Gallery. Shouldn't be too difficult to track him down. All right, Adam. I'm on it.
I jumped into my car and drove off to the Mojave Desert. For once in this case, the course was clear. The phone started ringing. Only one person calls me this time of the night, and it's usually not good news. Adam, we've got a location on Saeed, but he's out of my jurisdiction. Let me guess, he's in the Mojave Desert. Yeah, how did you know? I'll tell you all about it later. Thanks all the same, Marv. I drove all night long, and the sun greeted me as I entered the desert. It was all too cinematic. You dirty son of a... Mr. Wolf, please, be so kind as to back away. One way or another, you're going to answer for your crimes. What crimes? You almost buried me alive at the graveyard? I found your headscarf. I did no such thing. Anyone could have placed it. You killed Whitman in cold blood. Bullet to the head. I'd never do such a thing. He was an honorable man. But more importantly, he was a friend. I saw you at Whitman's place, sneaking out of the house. What were you doing there? Whitman knew how to get rid of the flame demon. I was seeking that knowledge for my own purposes. Things have gone too far, Mr. Wolf. All I want is to... Look out! I did not kill anyone, Mr. Wolf. Stay with me, Seed. I'll get some help. I wanted to destroy the demon, claim the dagger, live forever. How foolish I was. Here, take the damned thing and put a stop to this madness. managed to distract the shooter just long enough to try a desperate move. I charged him, full speed, and managed not to get shot. As I jumped the assassin, one thing became immediately clear. It was a woman. <sighs> You're the woman I met in Saeed's gallery. Why shoot at us? Talk fast, my trigger finger feels real itchy. Fine. My name is Zephira. A few months ago, Fang and Crum hired me to kill Whitman. Later on, they hired me to get rid of Saeed. Then you showed up, and I was tasked to keep an eye on you too. I was supposed to wait until you destroy the fire demon, and then eliminate you. Were you the one who pushed me in Whitman's casket? Yes. I wanted to make it look like Saeed attacked you. Maybe you'd get rid of him for me. That would have been convenient. Here's what you're gonna do. Call your employers, tell them that the fire demon is dead. Saeed and me too. And you're bringing the dagger tonight. Saeed has been dealt with. Yes, Wolf too. After he defeated the fire demon. I'll take care of the bodies and bring you the dagger tonight. Once I get out of here, I will kill you, Wolf. You're welcome to fail at that again.
two elementals in my hands. Shall I unleash you both now? The hell? Not just yet, little buddies. I have Crumb and Fang to deal with first. Fire and sand elementals hate being tin close proximity to one another. I hope I have enough time to get back to the city before they bust out. Crumb and Fang are going to answer for the lives that were lost. Of that, I'm sure. The sun sank beyond the horizon, and darkness fell over Frisco, setting the stage perfectly for what's about to happen. Gunshots. They were shot in cold blood. This is quite a surprise, Mr. Wolf. I was expecting someone else. Tell me, has the fire demon been dealt with? He's gone, but your assassin couldn't make it. It wasn't my assassin. Now, drop your gun and take a seat. Slowly, Mr. Wolf. So, where did I fit in this whole scheme? They all wanted to get rid of you at first, but I maneuvered them into letting you live so you could destroy the fire demon. Once you did that, I would grab the opportunity to deal with the others before they got me assassinated too. It was Whitman's death that broke the pact and woke the fire demon, wasn't it? Yes. Crum and Fang found out that Whitman wanted to destroy the dagger. Acting preventively, they hired an assassin to deal with Whitman. The deed was done, and so the pact was broken. Later on, Saeed decided to destroy the fire demon. Crum and Fang would have none of it. Enough of the idle chat. It's time to bring this to an end, Mr. Wolf. Give me the dagger. There is one thing you didn't consider. And what would that be? Well, I kind of lied about vanquishing the fire demon. The moment had arrived. I unleashed the sand elemental and kept my fingers crossed. He burst out in the blink of an eye. A terrifying whirlwind of sand and storm. The fire demon forgot all about me. His gaze instantly fixed on the sand elemental. The same could be said for the other creature. Whatever hatred existed between those two, it was palpable. They stormed at each other with blazing speed. The whole room turned into an inferno of fire and sand. This must be what hell feels like. The last I saw of the elementals was a blinding flash of light. I found myself alone in the room. It was scorched and devastated, without a single trace of the two that had just fought each other out of existence. That symbol. It's the same as the one on my watch. What could this mean? Picture of Allie. Wait a minute. What was her connection to Delacroix? Marv, I stopped him. All the madmen and their flame demon that spread fire through the city. I know, Adam. I'm not calling about that. It's about that partial fingerprint you sent him for analysis. So, what have we got? You better sit down. The results just came in. It's Allie's fingerprint, Adam. It's a 99.8 match. That means she's alive, Marv. 
She was at my home. Or someone wanted me to think so. This is a sign, Marv. I get a feeling that with each case, I'll be closer and closer to finding her. What is it, Gabriel? Adam Wolf. He is getting closer. Delacroix was sloppy. I predicted Delacroix's timeline. It's not a surprise. Do not worry about Adam Wolf. He has yet to walk some distance before our paths cross. And when they do, I will take care of him.